Alright, what to do YouTube, it's your boy Armani, welcome back to the channel, if you're new here, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video again, but with that being said, let's get into today's video, because it's absolutely insane, you guys do not want to miss it. So today, my sister told me she was getting sent creepy messages from some random old man, so what happened was she was actually in a Fortnite Discord server trying to look for a duel for today's Winter Royale tournament, she was actually contacted by some random 50 year old guy named steven and i mean this guy has a pretty odd profile picture like you could clearly tell he's really old probably has like five kids and i mean it's not weird to be old but it is weird to be in a fortnite discord server trying to do with little kids if you're that old i mean you guys will just see for yourselves with the messages i'm about to show you that he was sending my little sister but as soon as she saw the profile picture she came to me and told me about it and i took over after he said hey i was the one messaging her so my little sister had nothing to do with this she's not even in this video Video. but anyways let's get straight into this conversation i'm gonna show you guys all the messages start to finish of what this creep was sending to what he thought was my little sister so it started off fairly simple he just said hey i'll play some duels with you if you want and then he asked are you a girl question mark which was already a huge red flag from him so my quote unquote sister even though it was me responded yeah i'm a girl dot 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 and this creep said oh wow that really makes me want to play with you with the emoji and then he said what's your epic name which is once again another red flag like just because it's a girl it makes him want to play fortnite like what and keep in mind i was taking over from my sister's phone like this is me texting this 50 year old man because i had to see what this guy was actually going to say to what he thought was a young girl and make sure to watch until the end because i actually do get this guy arrested that's right i get him arrested but anyways then she responds all right dot 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 i was wondering how old you are because you look really old in my opinion i'd feel really awkward playing with you and this old man says i'm 45 don't worry it won't be awkward at all i'm really good at talking they call me a sweet talker haha ha. i mean i don't know who calls this guy the sweet talker like this guy's a balloon then i replied saying well i'm only 15 years old and i mean that alone just telling him i'm 15 should be enough to make him like stop the conversation like right there thinking that he's too old to play with a 15 year old but no that only encouraged him he said don't worry we'll have lots of fun i can carry you i'm looking to make new friends kind of been very low only recently if you know what i mean emoji and from then on guys i already knew he was a creep but i wanted to get him into a real fortnite game to expose him and actually talk to him and, and confront him about the messages he was sending to what he thought was a girl so i just went along and just kept going with this conversation so i was acting and i said i'd love to play with you then and this creep says can you send a selfie or a pic i'm really interested in what you look like you seem so nice no one usually wants to message me and i try to message lots of young people sad emoji yeah like i don't think we're surprised why no one likes to message you and once again this was just weird so i replied uh oh, we're just playing fortnite why would you want a picture and he says i like to put a face to the voice i hear when i'm playing fortnite or i can't focus if you don't mind of course it's fine don't worry i won't bite winky emoji so i just said all right i guess and then i sent a picture of some random girl from like google and this weirdo said wow you're really cute heart now I can't wait to play with you. Can we play now? I can't wait. I've never played with someone as cute as you. XOXO. Like, all I can think about at this point is like, how is this guy not in jail? And if he's not, I'm getting him there today. But anyways, then I replied to him saying, I can't play right now. I'm at my grandma's, but I can still message you on my phone, I guess. And obviously, I couldn't play with him right then because it would just blow my cover. So I had to keep this going, but I will play with him and expose him later. But then he said, oh man, I guess that's fine for now. I love your name. It sounds beautiful, but not as beautiful as you. Emoji. Like, oh my god, guys. Like, this guy is so cringe i don't even know sick people like this even existed but anyways replied saying thank you dot 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 and then he said would it be okay to send more pictures you're just so pretty heart so once again i just sent him random pictures off google like just random ones i found and steven the weirdo said thank you so much i love your eyes do you want to turn this into a little more than just playing fortnite usually girls never respond to me this much if so i can be your daddy heart 
I literally barfed in my mouth saying that last sentence. Like, this guy clearly needs to be locked up in jail for the rest of his life. But then I respond saying, um, that sounds weird. I'm not sure. I'm only 15. Just to once again remind him what he's dealing with so maybe he'll back up. But nope, he just kept going. He said, don't worry, you seem bored. We can just have a bit of fun now and play Fortnite later, if that's okay with you. And I'm not really sure what he means by that, to be honest. So next, I just replied saying, like, what do you mean by fun? And then next, he said something so disgusting, it just blew my mind. Like, I'm sure you guys can use your imagination, but I am not saying that. Like, I'm not comfortable saying that. He said, I can teach you how to something really disgusting. You would really like it a lot. And then he asked, are you alone right now? And then I just replied saying yes. And then he replied saying, well, all you gotta do is, and then something disgusting that I'm not showing you guys once again. Like, trust me, you guys just don't even want to know. But anyways, then I responded saying, um, I'm sorry, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Because, like, this guy was just saying some wild things. Like, I don't know who he thinks he is. And then he said, don't worry about it, it's a lot of fun, just try it out. There's a first time for everything, and then smiley face. So I replied saying, no, I'm really sorry, like, that just seems bad, I'm not doing it. And then he said, it's okay, maybe another time, I don't want to force you into anything. I could teach you in real life if you want, it would be easier. Where do you live? question mark which once again this guy's asked he's like 45 years old asking where she lives like what a freaking weirdo so i just lied to him and i said i'm from los angeles i'm not really interested in the meeting up to be honest and then he said la is a great place thumbs up it's okay if you don't want to we can have some fun in a call if you want to i have something i want to show you winky face and to keep it real like i don't even know what this guy was talking about and i didn't even want to know so i just said i can't call right now i'm sorry and then out of nowhere he says i can send you a picture with an emoji and then he sends a picture and like i don't even want to talk about this like let's move on from this but he sent a picture that's all i'm gonna say so then i just replied with like a lot of dots and this creep said now it's your turn heart like what nobody asked for a picture so i just replied like straight up i said i can't do that sorry and oh my god he got so weird he said why not i'm all excited for you right now and you're so cute i bet it would be cute down there too nice and fresh with so many emojis like i don't even want to think about what he means by that like it's so weird so once again i said sorry i just can't i'm not comfortable like that's so weird so once again i said sorry i just can't i'm not comfortable like that's so weird so once again i was completely disgusted but i just had to get more information out of him so i just went with it i said yeah dot 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 and then it just got even worse like if you guys thought it was worse up until this point just take a look at this he said can't wait till we play fortnite tongue got emoji and then he said i love if you call me i'm not even gonna say it because i feel weird and then he said xoxo like what is wrong with this guy so then i just said like why would i do that that's just so weird and then like just take a look at what he said next like i'm not even gonna read this he said call me big because I'm all big and ready for you. Wish we could video call right now or meet up, but I live nowhere near LA. And I took this as a perfect opportunity to find out where he lives so I could call the police in his local area. So I said, where are you from? Question mark. And then he said, Alabama. Like, I'm not even surprised. But then he said, but it's okay. We can still have fun and maybe we could take a trip. I've got money. You know what I mean by fun, right? Like, holy, this guy's making me cringe so hard. Like, I can barely even read these messages at this point so then i just said like no i don't and then he said this like i'm not even reading that that's just so disgusting and then he said what are you wearing question mark like what kind of question is that so i just responded and i said normal clothes like a normal person why question mark and this freaking creep says i'm right now winky face so i say why lol that's weird and i guess he got sort of defended so he said what do you think i'm about to shower what are you doing right now question mark so i just said i'm sitting on my phone watching youtube and stuff and he replies saying sounds like you're bored winky face should we have a bit of fun we can video call right now and then he sent another picture of which i actually had to burn from my mind straight up like i think i'm scarred from life just seeing that and then i just responded saying no that's okay i'll just wait until we actually play fortnite and this creep sends a paragraph he says okay hurry i'm waiting till you get home so we can play heart and maybe later we can have a different kind of fun that's not fortnite on video call i can teach you a lot of things i'm very experienced and then he says can i see your 
I'm not even gonna say it. I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. Like, it's just absolutely disgusting. Like, I can't wait to get this guy locked up in jail. So I respond to him saying, no, sorry, I don't feel comfortable doing that at all, you weirdo. And then he says, you need to get more comfortable around me. I'm a really nice guy when you get to know me. And I'm gonna get to know all of you soon, hopefully, heart. Like, what does that mean? And then he says, what's your Fortnite name? I forgot to ask before, question mark. So here's when I tricked him. I said, I play on my brother's account. It's Armani FN, which is actually me. So when he adds me and plays with me, I'm the one who's actually gonna talk to him, not my sister. And I mean, I have no words. Like, just take a look at what he said next. He says, all right, I just added you. I can't wait to play, heart. I've been really lonely lately, and this is helping me a lot, XOXO. Maybe in the future, we can meet up in real life and get married like what this guy's absolutely disgusting like the only thing you're marrying is the bed in your jail cell you freaking creep so i respond to him when he said let's meet up and i said i can't really leave the city alone just making stuff up once again and he says i it's okay i could fly over and we can meet up i really want to play with you in real life sorry if i'm talking in a weird way i've been so lonely and you're making me really excited by just messaging me so I respond and I say, is that you in the profile picture? And oh my god, he says, yes, of course. Do you think I'm cute? Like, no, nobody thinks you're cute. Look at your freaking head. You look like an egg. And I decided to mess with him and I said, yeah, you are. And not surprisingly at all, he said, wow, really? No girl has ever called me cute. I think I love you. Like, okay, now this guy's in love and he's saying no girls have ever called him cute because look at your freaking head, boy. And it only got weirder from here on out. He says, you're so beautiful and amazing. I want to see more of you. I want to see your melons. So I literally sent him a picture of some watermelons and I said, here you go. And to my surprise, he still responds. He says, wow, you're a clever girl, aren't you? I didn't mean those melons, silly. It's all right if you don't want to just yet. Maybe when we video call after a couple games of Fortnite, when will you be home? So I just say I'm on my way home right now. And this weirdo says, wow, I'm so excited. By the way, let's keep this all a secret between just you and me. I'm sure we wouldn't want anyone ruining our fun. Like what fun? The only fun you're having is in jail, buddy. So once again, I just went with it. Didn't want him to get too suspicious. So I said, yeah, of course, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Your secret's safe with me. And he says, I trust you. You seem really nice. It can be our little fun secret. And I had enough at this point. Like I was so sick of this guy. I couldn't stand it any longer. So it was time to finally get the information out of him so I can get him arrested. So I said, okay, so I was wondering what your address was in real life in case I ever came to visit you or something. And obviously I wasn't going to visit him, I just needed his address so I could actually tell the police where to find him. And this idiot actually fell for it, he's so stupid, he gave me his exact address, he said, I live on street and obviously i can't show you guys this for privacy reasons but i'm telling you he gave the exact address to his house and now all i needed was a little bit more information from him so i said cool do you have facebook question mark and he says why do you want my facebook question mark so i just completely make something up and i just say i just want to get to know more about you i'll tell you mine even though i wasn't gonna tell him nothing and oh my god guys this idiot actually gave me his facebook as well so at this point i could easily get him arrested i have everything i need i have all the proof i have the address i have his facebook i have more than enough information to get this guy arrested right here right now but before any of that i actually want to confront him and expose him in a call voice to voice and actually just tell him that i was the one messaging him and see his reaction so make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications because i'm going to be uploading this video as soon as this video hits five thousand likes so make sure to be subscribed and turn on post notifications because you do not want to miss it but anyways that's it for today's video i'm out peace